Assalamu alaikum. I pray to the Almighty to bestow upon me his truth, his wisdom, that I may be worthy of conveying his message and so sanctify his name. I came here from New York. I just flew in simply because we as Jews who are true to our religion, we, we are humiliated, we are beyond words because this Nakba, this catastrophe, this, this mass murder is being perpetrated in not only in the name of my religion, but supposedly in the name of the people who uphold this religion, Judaism. And this is false, this is patently false. You should just know you will go around the world and invariably, the more the religious, the Jewish community, the more they are opposed to the existence of the occupation of the state of Israel. Yeah. Let's remember, Judaism is a religion of 3,000 years, and Zionism, the ideology behind the state, is a mere hundred odd years. The state is only 75 years. How dare they take my religion, which is subservience to the Almighty, and use it to perpetrate this oh, this nekba, this this ca ca colossal catastrophe, this mass this mass murder. It's unbelievable. It's un incomprehensible that people could stand by and watch this murder and blame it on a religion and say that oh yes, it's because there's a religious conflict between people. It's not true. We live together, Jews. Not only we live together. But Jews, actually, when we were being harassed and murdered in Europe, we went to Muslim countries. It was the Muslim countries and the Arab countries who took us in. We, we flourished for hundreds of years, including in the Arab, Ottoman Empire, including in Palestine. We have many Jews who are alive today who still remember prior to the state, to the occupation, how we lived in the same courtyards, helped each other, babysat each other's children. This was a narrative that was all over the world. And Israel, their Zionist state, they come and they turn the narrative on its head and tell the world incessantly for over 75 years that the Muslims and the Palestinians hate the Jews. How despicable, how revolting, how unacceptable. It's not true. Yes. Yes. And we as Jews, because we are Jews, we'll, all, we'll always stand up and tell the world, Judaism, does not permit to kill or steal. In fact, Judaism doesn't even permit the Jewish people since the destruction of the temple 2,000 years ago of having our own sovereignty. This was a given yes. accepted by Jews. That is why we were welcomed and we lived together with Muslims because they knew they were scholars. They knew our religion. They knew we're never a threat to them. Zionism is a bunch of heretics, people who scorn God, who scorned the Jews and say, what are you trusting in God? We have to have a God. We have to have a land. When they made the state in 1948, you could see who was sitting there, Ben-Gurion, the, um, Zabatinsky, uh, Theodor Herzl, there was a picture on the wall, um, the, the Chaim Weizmann, their names should all be obliterated. Who are they? Heretics. They didn't even cover their heads. They're making a Jewish state. They use the Star of David, call it Israel, and say God gave us the land when they don't even keep the Ten Commandments. They don't keep the Sabbath. Yes. They're a bunch of hypocrites, and they're using my religion, intimidating other people to be silent, calling them anti-Semites. Who is anti-Semitic? The Zionist state of Israel. Yes. Yes. They have perpetrated death. They have killed blood, rivers of blood is being spilt. But not only of the Palestinians, but Jews. They're brutally beating Jews, whoever stands up in opposition to them. Not yes. for nothing that the chief rabbi of Palestine, not to be confused with the Israeli rabbinate, their farce and their rabbi, chief rabbi, Rabbi Dushinsky in 1947, pleaded with the United Nations, it's the United Nations documents, and he said, we furthermore wish to express our definite opposition to a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. And this was shared by the Jews throughout the world. This is the one, the Jewish narrative. We are forbidden to have a state. We are forbidden to kill and steal. And certainly the people who provided us a home, who embraced us, when we flourished, on, how dare they kill them? How dare they villainize them? How dare they, 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 they dehumanize them? Sorry, they, they, they demonize and dehumanize them. They tell the world that they're varmint, that 
the vermin that you could kill them. That's why the world is silent. They had for 75 years created a narrative that these people aren't human beings. How dare they do such a thing? Yes. Yes. We will not be silent. We dare not be silent. They are perpetrating the greatest rebellion against God. God is compassionate. God will not let this continue forever. We have the majority on our side because we have God on our side. We will be successful. Inshallah, we all should pray to the Almighty to bring a speedy and peaceful total removal of this occupation. At the same time, we dare not be silent. You must be outspoken. You must be not intimidated. You are not anti-Semitic. As I say, the the, uh, the epitome, the personification of anti-Semitism is that bloody state of Israel. We will be successful. Let us stand up and not be silent until the Almighty will have us his compassion, bring an end to the compassion. Salam Aleikum.